Hey everyone, this is Jim Ross, the Self Storage Show. We're gonna continue our vendor spotlight series here. They're they're always fun to do. A little spotlight on uh, the vendors of the industry. It's almost like a little mini trade show. I'm coming up to your booth and saying hi. So <laughs> today I got Mark Sierra with me, the CEO of Storage Defender. What's up, Mark? Hey Jim, great to be with you. Yeah, long time coming. Whatever we were talking about, we keep kind of like over the years and see each other like, hey, we got to do this Sunday. And hey, day's finally here. So No, you have an awesome program. I remember when I got in the industry five years ago and I was researching, I found your podcast and I used to listen to them religiously to kind of understand uh, some of the trends in the industry and, and from an operator's perspective. And I, you know, I thanked you before the call and, and prior to, but I really appreciate your commitment to the industry. And it was really helpful when I got in. Oh, perfect. Well, for those of that's not familiar with uh, you and the journey, kind of give us a little cliff note version of how you even got involved in storage here. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, prior to getting into storage, I used to run uh, uh, smart home products uh, and experiences for a, a large multinational company, one of the top pro providers for smart tech in the United States. And I was really tuned in to users experience. Um, one of my siblings, as we were building this, I'm a tech guy, my partner and I were building this technology delivery platform based on smart tech. Um, one of my siblings was driving down the road and called me and said, what about placing that into self-storage? And so in September of 2018 was the first time I ever really thought about applying our smart tech platform to self-storage. And by June of 2019, we focused 100% on taking Storage Defender to market. And Storage Defender is, if you think of like the ring, uh, the ring uh, of self-storage or the uh, the Nest Cam or the, it's a smart product. Here it is right here. This is the, the smart sensors and they mount on the ceiling or the wall and they um, transform storage units into smart units, which essentially provide that additional peace of mind and monitoring of tenants, uh, whether it's them, a brother, a mother, a colleague, or someone that's not so nice, it keeps them aware of what's going on, where their valuables are stored remotely. And that service is what we brought to market, and that's called Storage Defender, Jim. Interesting. Okay. Now, I, I, I know, you know, some clients, all that are, are using it, and, you know, they're they're very happy with the results. And so, just kind of walk me through it real quick. Uh, I guess as an operator... You know, if I'm looking at, at Storage Defender existing or if it's a new buildup, does it yeah. matter? It's interesting. When we first got into it, at the time, it was like 38, 39,000 facilities. Now there's somewhere over 50. Yeah. And when we got into it, we looked at this as how do we bring the most affordably technology in more of the retrofit applications. We were looking at 1970s, 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s facilities. How do we arm these facilities with the latest technology and tenant experience at a cost point to compete against, for example, the large REITs even, right? They've got deep pockets. <clears throat> so we were thinking it would be more like drive ups. But as we got into it, uh, and so that's a huge base of our business, whether it's in primary, secondary, tertiary markets, that's a huge part of our business nationally. Yeah. However, we also got into it, we realized in some of these class A facilities, most of them, um, there's gaps above the wall because of fire code. And so yeah. um, that's an ingress point. And we were getting calls with, hey, people are shimming over our, our walls or, hey, tenants are nervous storing here because they see that gap above the wall. And so we actually service both existing facilities, whether they're drive up or new. And of course, we're involved in some of the uh, the new facilities as well, um, you know, right out of the gate lease up. So, Jim, we see it all because in the end, customers want more peace of mind. And that's what we provide. Well, yeah, kind of walk me through that a little bit then. So it's it's obviously peace of mind. And, and one of the first things when people are evaluating storage sites is, Yes, you got price, but then it's security. Security is always, you know, top of mind that they're kind of differentiating factor for a lot of different sites. So what is, yeah, so, what's this peace of mind you speak of? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. So it's interesting. Top three things tenants care about on average going to a facility is uh, price, right? Not always number one. Two, location, name of your uh, company is three mile storage, right? So obviously being close, convenient. And three is security. <clears throat> so 
from uh, when we talk about peace of mind, um, it's people, frankly, just being aware, having that awareness of what's going on in their unit, right? And so in our case, we we don't we make it very simple to provide peace of mind. We're a text-based service. When someone goes into a unit, um, they're getting just a text alert. Um, human conversational, easy to do. Um, you know, storage defender. Hey Jim, we noticed uh, motion in your unit at Three Mile Salt Lake City storage dot. You know, uh, at such and such a time. Jim, was this you? Yes or no? It's all conversational, right? And so, A, it's a conversational text that's sent out, and B, it's in real time, and C, it builds that plasticity that I call it tactile plasticity. Like, when they're going in and they're getting that alert, it gives them peace of mind that when they're away, if someone were to go in, they're mm -hmm. going to get the same alert. And so, um, that's what we're talking about, peace of mind. We, we say it's like having a 24-7 guardian watching over your stuff. That's the way we're looking at it. Gotcha. Okay. So any kind of movement inside the unit, that's, I assume it's like motion detection sure. kind of movement in there. They're going to get notified saying, Hey, activity in your unit, this is you all good. But if not, <laughs> call right. management and see what's up. Huh? Okay. And we like doing it inside the unit because whether it's through the door, through the wall, I'm sure you, in your years, people have, yeah. you've seen that or over the wall, we're going to oh, pick yeah. that up. And you asked me about peace of mind. Let me say one more thing, referencing my original experience and what I did prior to coming in. Unfortunately, many in our industry look at storage as like it's a box and people put stuff in, right? I look at it more than that. I look at it as every morning, right? People get up at their home and eight out of 10 plus have smart home technology and they have it because of peace of mind. When they come to their facility maybe they're a baby boomer and it's a 10 by 10 this is their remote garage yeah. okay or maybe they're in an urban area and they're a millennial and they go and this is their five by five remote closet or maybe they're a small business and it's a 10 by 30 and this is a remote warehouse and the key is every morning and every night they're going to their home and they buy all this smart home technology and the number one thing people care about and why they're buying smart home technology is still peace of mind we have to look at uh, we have to look at storage as though it's an extension of people's home, and if we talk to them, we can provide an, a, a continuity or uh, or pervasiveness of services of what they experience at home. They can then have that peace of mind, just like it's an extension of their home, and that's why we call them smart units. It draws that psychological connection to the same peace of mind I have in my smart home. I now have in my smart unit. No, it makes. Total sense. That's what. That's a great way they can relate to it. Uh, for the visual, if you don't mind, kind of show me that that box again. What's right. So this is the storage defender sensor. Okay. Okay. Um, we have magnets on the back, and why that makes it easy to transform. Right. You talked about operators and how this works is mm -hmm. simply by attaching it to the ceiling or the wall magnetically, uh, and then we create that relationship in our software with, for example, the property management software. Um, within you know seconds, hanging it on the wall, walking back to the unit, uh, to the software, and, and loading it into the software, making that connection of device to unit, we've now transformed that unit into a smart unit, Jim. And when that tenant gets their lease, they go the next time, whether it's an online rental or they're at the counter and they get it or on the phone, when they go to the unit, they get a welcome, literally a welcome message from us. Okay, so, so it does uh, intersect with uh, the... the uh, storage software. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Great. Well, I got to ask you, what, what software do you guys integrate with? Um, presently, we're with the big ones. Um, uh, the ones that I can comment on now are SiteLink, Storage, and SSM. Okay. Um, but we definitely have some other things cooking there too. But those are, you know, among the, you know, the larger three that most of our customers, we certainly are working with some other customers yeah. that uh, have some of the others as well. No, that's great. Yeah. Guys, no people listen to this. That's probably a question they're going to be asking themselves. So I want to make sure we address that. But Appreciate the question too. Got more coming down the pipeline. That's great. Uh, so obviously the next is, you know, cool. How it works, how the install plays along, but owners that are listening to this, you know, <laughs> they want to make some money at this too. Uh, right. I think this would be a great kind of a auxiliary stream of revenue, frankly, if you do it right. So how it's do you really, really interesting. Yeah, it's interesting you bring that up. I just came back from the SSA workshop ski retreat. And so I was talking to a lot of execs and industry analysts. And this isn't new information, Jim. You know, know this, right? Um, 
in general right now, we're seeing, you know, rates still declining. Uh, we're seeing uh, same store sales still down. Um, interest rates have headwinds as well. And the general feeling right now is for the first at least half of this year until we go into the second half of the year, we might start seeing uh, some tailwind, some momentum. But as a result, way more even than when we were in the COVID time when we started, we're getting a lot more interest now because of the power that ancillary revenue brings to the mix. Yeah. So if you think about like street rates doing this, okay, they're going to go where they're going to go, right? Um, to stay competitive. But in the case of uh, what Storage Defender does, much akin to um, tenant insurance, we're getting more than six out of every 10 nationally that are picking Storage Defender, more than six out of every 10 on average, and it's delivering an average of $12 of ancillary service a unit. And those those are the numbers. Oh, that's okay. So 12 bucks. Okay. No, that, that, that's fantastic. What's the, I guess that kind of leads me to into is the cost. Yeah. And yeah. we would get, we would certainly get into that on a, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, okay. but um, the way our model, the way our model works is um, the uh, each month, um, uh, we look back in where you have active tenants, um, that are paying, we do charge a subscription cost, kind of a portion, just like tenant insurance. But on the other hand, when you install these in vacant units, because there's as much value also in vacant units to get visibility regarding compliance, squatters, all the other things that you can look at in vacant units, we do not charge for subscriptions on that. That's, that's kind of included in the, in the cost of the device. So there is a activation fee, um, which is fully inclusive of all the assets that we put on the property, the wireless equipment, the installation, there is a device cost, and then there is the subscription, uh, the monthly subscription. Uh, we don't charge annual maintenance fees. There's no other hidden costs, but um, yeah, it's a pretty simple model. The price is pretty standard across the board, but I'd be happy to talk with you and others. Um, I'm sure we'll leave my information uh, at the end of the call. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely uh, call it out because no, right, just 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 talking because I always have a marketer's mind <laughs> first and yeah. foremost, and you know you were talking about how it's 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 tougher right now when it comes to getting the phone to ring. Now that I got the phone to ring, are you actually closing that that sale? And right. I could see using something like this. That's just a differentiator, even of itself. Not even talking about the cost. Just saying, hey, we have this added protection. Put that on your website, saying you have added security. That could be the tipping point from getting a rental versus not. And what's the value of that? It's interesting. There's two levels of that. At a tenant level, we always talk about how you brand your digital storefront and your and your digital shelf, your unit listing. And we also work with how we brand facilities to be smart unit facilities by storage defender, right? So yes, that helps. You know, obviously first tenants are gonna, you know, first contacts from tenants prospective tenants are your biggest conversion opportunities. And we kind of become that cherry on the ice cream, so to speak, to help in that conversion. Where I thought you were going is there's a lot of uh, perhaps people watching this that are property management companies. A lot of property management companies these days are also bringing Storage Defender in because it, it's something they can add to their tech stack to get owners to answer their phone to get owners interested because it's another way to make revenue and profit maybe that the guy next to you isn't using. So I didn't know where you're going with that, but adding additional services as a property management, not only just in ownership, um, um, is a way to improve what the PLs look like. And we're seeing a lot of interest in there, not only from owners, not only from operators, but even like brokers and how they can underwrite this into some deals. No, that's it. A lot, of, a lot of ways you can look at this. So it's, it's something sure. that's very, yeah, very beneficial. And obviously people want to get more information because yeah, we're, we're just kind of touching the service here. And I know you have some cool videos that people can kind of see it in action and talking sure. customers. I know I was watching one of your videos that had you're talking to a customer that was just totally ran into somebody. You're like, what do you think of this? And they're like, this is awesome. <laughs> you know, oh, I love that video. That video was awesome. Uh, I can't believe you did your homework because that was a few years ago when I was oh. in an elevator and a lady bumped into me and recognized my shirt. Oh, really? And she, uh, she very much thanked me. She was a waitress from a local restaurant and she appreciated that storage defender was simple to use because she hated technology. Yep. And her exact words are, I hate technology, but I appreciate the peace of mind when I'm away from my stuff that storage defender provides. And I thought, I thought it was like a candid camera thing and someone was videoing me. I'm like, it was a real tenant. It was awesome. 
No, that's it. No, those kind of testimonials are the best ones. Ones that aren't that aren't canned or just kind of off the cuff. Those are the best ones. So I love it. So if people Absolutely. want to get more information, reach out to you. And, you know, obviously, kind of get more of a one-on-one -on -one and go through their questions. How do they get a hold of you? Sure. So um, uh, you can uh, go to our website at storage-defender.com. That's storage-defender.com. There's a contact form on there. Um, you can also reach out to myself, Mark at storage-defender.com. It's very simple, Mark with a K at storage-defender.com. And we also have our phone number. Um, it's right on our website, but I think it's 877-533-3323. And uh, you can, we'll all, we're all there to answer questions there. And also on LinkedIn, you can reach us through LinkedIn. We're very available and we'd love to talk about how um, bringing technology doesn't have to be a huge investment up front. We can grow with you and help you profit in ways that you hadn't before. Perfect. All right. Well, sounds good. I'll reach out myself to get more information because this is this is pretty cool. All right. Thanks so much, Thank Mark. You so much. Thank you again, man. Yep. Appreciate it.